These are just some of the faces of people who were brutally attacked by pit bulls and died. The latest incident is that of three-year-old Kaketso Saule, who died on Sunday at Hanenman in the Free State. The pit bull terrier has a controversial reputation internationally due to their history in dog fighting. However, owners of these dogs see them as loving dogs while others regard them as inherently vicious. Maru Ping's then seven-year-old son was bitten and dragged for meters by a pit bull. They thought the inevitable will happen. He and another girl were playing in the yard when the dog entered the premises, attacking the girl first and then his son. Some dog just passed by and entered the yard. It attacked the girl. It took out this, the skull, the, the skin of the skull, and after taking her, it went to my son. My son ran away to the next street, and it followed him until to that street is where he was attacked by this vicious pet bulldog. He suffered injuries to his face, legs, arms, and thighs. His father says the emotional trauma is not stopping. The recovery is slow because it's not only physical wounds, but it's also emotional wounds. Emotional wounds are taking longer than the physical wounds. The physical wounds are healed by the scars, facial scars in the body all over. But the, the emotional scars are still there because sometimes he's even afraid to sleep. Whenever you hear a dog bark, maybe, he will get scared and he will just panic. In town, we tracked down another victim, 36-year-old Agnes Monyake. She is scarred for life. Monyake says she was on her way to work when a pack of pit bulls attacked her. She suffered severe injuries to her arms and legs. It's a year where she thought she'll die, but she gathered enough strength to keep moving. A good Samaritan came to her rescue and she jumped on the bonnet of his car. Now everything was difficult for me because I did not work anymore. Like the first time before the dogs was biting me because my life is difficult now. Everything is difficult for me. I just try to uh, help my family because everything was tight for me. A legal expert says victims have the right to sue the dog owners. You can certainly sue um, the owner of the dog for your damages. Um, and often in the case of pit bull attacks, unfortunately, it can be devastating consequences, very serious injuries. Um, so you, if you've suffered um, uh, injuries which require medical treatment, then you can sue for recovery of those costs in the past and in the future. Um, we've had instances of, of clients where they've been left amputees due to dog attacks. In a case between the city of Cape Town and Fatima Karolsa, the victim successfully sued the city and the dog owner. Karolsa was attacked by a pit bull when she went on a seaside trip with friends at a public park owned by the city. In another matter between Christian Meyeren and Gerald Kluter, the attacked gardener was also vindicated. Kluter's arm was amputated when he was attacked by Mayoran's three pit bulls. He successfully sued and received a 2.4 million rand payout. And while the debate on whether pit bulls should be banned is ongoing, these victims are the ones who carry the permanent invisible emotional scars. Reginald Bidboy. SBC News, Kimberley.